Hey, this is Mr. Raiden from MrRaiden.com, and this is the 2021 AP Chemistry free response question number four. So we're through the 10-point questions. We're on to the four-point questions, and this is question number four. You can see question number four. You can see right away it's a thermotype problem. And you can see the delta H, the enthalpy is negative 1650 kilojoules per mole of the reaction. And the student mixes iron with a catalyst, and they get uh, this this temperature change and the first question they ask us right here is the mixture of iron the catalyst and the sand has a total mass of 15.0 grams the specific heat capacity of 0.72 joules per gram degree Celsius and we want to know the amount of heat absorbed by the mixture from zero minutes to four minutes so from zero minutes to four minutes I have to take the temperature at zero minutes it's 22.0 at four minutes it is 39.7 so the change in temperature from zero minutes to four minutes ends up becoming 39.7 degrees Celsius minus 22.0 degrees Celsius very easy math and we get 17.7 degrees Celsius, 17.7 .7 degrees Celsius. And so we're going to use that, of course, to calculate the heat is the Q equals MC change in T. So the total mass is 15.0 grams. You can see three significant digits. We have 0.72 joules per gram degrees Celsius. You can see two significant digits. We have our 39.7 degrees Celsius minus our 22.0 degrees Celsius, our change in our temperature, and we end up getting 191.16 joules because the grams canceled out, the degrees Celsius canceled out, or we could say 191 joules of heat if we round to three significant digits there. Okay, And so that is how much heat was absorbed, which means that's the amount of heat that was given off through the iron. So think about that. That's the amount of heat absorbed by the mixture, which is the same amount of heat because we have a conservation of energy. And so right here, I know a lot of people like to use train tracks and, and dimensional analysis. Uh, I don't really like to. I like to go logical. I like my students to be able to logically deduce every single thing there. Okay. If you don't like to do that, that's fine. Uh, it, both ways work. And so here we have, we want to know the mass in grams. And so we have this relationship between heat, kilojoules, with moles, and a relationship with, with moles and grams. So let's think about that relationship. We have negative 1650 kilojoules for every four moles of iron in my reaction. Think about that. There's negative 650 kil 1650 kilojoules for every four moles that we react, which means it's negative 650,000 joules for every four moles of iron. And what do we know about how many joules we have? Well, negative 191.16 joules of heat for every how many moles of iron. I hope you can see it's very logical here. It's just a proportion. Almost everything in chemistry is proportional. So I can do some cross multiplying here and I end up getting 4.634 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of iron. Again, we always put our units and what it's assigned to. You can see we took the relationship of joules and moles of iron in my reaction and the joules with the moles of iron from my experiment. Now what do we have to do? We multiply by molar mass, we multiply by 55.85 grams per mole, which is the molar mass of iron, and we end up getting 0 0.02588 grams of iron. And that is how much grams, how much mass it takes to give off this amount of heat through this reaction. The last part of the problem is it says in a second experiment the student uses twice the mass of iron. That's very key there, twice the mass of iron. But the same amount of sand as in the first experiment. Would the maximum temperature be reached in the second experiment be greater, less than, or equal to? So this is kind of what we think happens. Uh, we want to figure out what happens to the maximum temperature. And so let's kind of go again logically with, with these lab questions. I like to think logically. So let's think about twice the mass of iron. 
What does twice the mass of iron do? It results in twice the number of moles of iron, doesn't it? Okay, so if you double the mass, we're going to double the moles of iron. And what does doubling the moles of the iron do? Because it's proportional, it results in doubling twice the heat output, doesn't it? Because that's proportional. It's a proportion, okay? Which means if we have double the heat output, that means it would, uh, the maximum temperature, the maximum temperature would be greater than the first experiment. Okay, would be greater than the first experiment. Uh, if you want to think about this logically in terms of something like, uh, here's an analogy in terms of uh, gasoline. If you take a little bit of gasoline and you set it on fire, it sets a little bit of fire. You take a lot of gasoline or a gas station and you set it on fire, it's going to give you a huge amount of output. The maximum temperature change is going to be much, much, much greater. The enthalpy, though, is the same isn't it? The amount of kilojoules per mole is the same. So that ratio is always the same for the same substance, but the amount of heat output would be greater. And that's the 2021 AB chemistry for response number four. We're going to go to number five next.